Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and uh, as you may have caught on by now, I'm doing a little bit of batch producing today. Um, as I mentioned in, I'm not really sure the order in which I'm uploading these videos, but I'm pretty sure by now, if you're a subscriber, you've seen my um, 250 subscriber giveaway uh, drawing by now, and um, you may notice I'm wearing the same clothes but um in that video too i mentioned i am traveling this week so um i will also be not here next sunday when i'd like okay so this sunday is september 10th next sunday would be september 17th um i'm not gonna be home to record this video then but that's when i wanted to be uploaded whatever you guys um what I'm here to talk about today is the next step on the Rat Rod Radio Flyer. As you know, I've started to, or started, I did one attempt at TIG welding, but I want, I want to get better at this. I want to have some project, and um, the Rat Rod Radio Flyer, you guys may remember from back, like, I think May, I told you about the things I wanted to do to this. Well, um... Again, for those of you who don't know, I'm co-workers with Greg of Greg's Garage here on YouTube. He's one of the ones who got me into this whole gig. Um, I've been loving every second of it. But if you've been following his story, at my company they do a, we do this, it's called an innovation sabbatical where we let, um, this is the third year now we've done it and Greg Wool was the recipient this year. and. Um, what he's doing is uh, kind of an exploration on digital fabrication, the whole CNC uh, world of, we design really cool stuff as architects, sometimes like fixtures, let's say like a reception desk or, or furniture, things like that. And then we have to give our drawings to somebody else to interpret our stuff for them to then build it. And he's sort of doing an inside scoop, sort of an exploration on, well, what if, what if we just took out some of that? What if we as architects could design stuff as well as produce some of these components and so um, his whole sabbatical is has been I, I can't wait because he hasn't quite done his whole summary presentation to the company so I'm really excited to see all of what came out of it but one of the outcomes of it is he's been up in Boston here and there over the past call it six months probably maybe less than that not every month of those six months but probably over that time frame at Autodesk's uh, headquarters and kind of get some insight to that and they have this really cool fabrication lab with 3D printers um, and just miscellaneous stuff like that and so he had the opportunity to get some stuff water jet cut and um, I may or may not have squeezed in a design for a new front axle for the Rat Rod Radio Flyer and actually a number of Probably two months ago, Greg had 3D printed for me a template I could use to plasma cut out this front axle. And we gave that a shot, but the material that the 3D printer template was made out of just couldn't withstand the temperatures of the plasma torch. My plasma torch also wasn't necessarily uh, up to the bill, you might say, cutting through the material I was trying to get to cut through. Um, so here's so here's kind of that outcome. <laughs> that was a little bit of a abandoned ship, but uh, Greg was able to hook me up with this sucker. So this is going to be my new front axle for the Rat Rod Radio Flyer, and I'm going to do a lot the same as the current design, where I want to weld a top and bottom flange to it, make it look like it have an I beam profile. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a nice little a bow bowed shape to it. Um, and this is about quarter inch steel we're talking and just everything's so nice and crisp it's gonna clean that thing up so awesome I'm really excited um, this is gonna be I think it's gonna turn out awesome TIG welding this thing uh, and then as far as the top and bottom flanges I think what I'm gonna do use similar material to like I did back there but I'm gonna drill um, uh, holes probably like every inch or so or, or half inch whatever I'll figure that out then um, so it'll be a nice clean repetitious sort of uh, pattern 
and then I'll just plug weld that with my TIG welder. Pretty excited. I think it's going to turn out great. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace out.